I, I personally feel that this could um, be the first of a series of boycotts. We're not going anywhere. We'll we'll keep pushing on with this. This isn't doesn't have to be a one off. We've had the enough boycott. This is uh, everyone coming together. We can we can do this every every week if we have to. You know, we're not going away. They're going to have to listen to us um, one way or the other. The whole point is to hurt them quite badly and. Personally, I'm really keen for the impact to hit them financially because I think that that will have a, an effect more than anything. It's it's dreadful, isn't it? The fact that when we first went to them after the Enough campaign, I had reams and reams and reams of example of the abuse that players are receiving. We had Wes Morgan in the room talking kind of from a personal level. Um, there was the N-word everywhere monkey emojis everywhere and they were like we're really sorry it doesn't contravene our community guidelines and i think over the course of those two years since we first met with them they appreciate that you know that isn't a good enough response or answer however you know we're still seeing and know that the th those words those emojis are being used in a horrific way daily to players and they aren't always being taken down quickly. Sometimes they're, they're still up six months after being reported. It's, you know, it's staggering, to be honest, in this day and age that, that we're going through this and talking about this. It's, it's, it's awful. And they talk a really good game. There's a lot of platitudes and, you know, concern that it's not what they want to see on their platforms and that they're, you know, committed to change it. However, given the kind of financial powers that, that, that the platforms have, the, the technology that they've got on hand, the expertise that, that, that they have um, and the power that they've got, you would really have hoped that they would have found some solutions by now.